Two whole bags of bottles in a 10 meter space. Had no idea how much microplastic there is. I, ha I haven't even, I didn't even see it. Um, and then all of a sudden it's just everywhere. And you're like, oh my God, there's, there's so much of this. It's, it's like you can just literally sit down and pick here, piece there, piece there. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. It's intense. 3.3 tons in one day. Here to clean up the beach from all sorts of different rubbish, plastic, bottles, glass. We've found lots of different things so far. You're walking along, you get your hand and you just swipe it across the sand and it would unearth maybe five little bits of plastic. Imagine that on a 75 mile island, if I can just do that and bring up plastic, that's the entire island. It's kind of exciting when you find a piece and you know, you bring it where it belongs and you know, mother nature gets much cleaner. All of us put together, even though we didn't feel like we got much individually, when you put that together and you, you, know, you see it all as a big picture, 3.3 tons uh, was absolutely amazing. Plastic was clearly the dominant material that we picked up, it wasn't just collecting the waste, it was analysing it, counting it, understanding where it came from, and ultimately trying to repurpose as much as possible. That's what we're doing in audit. If all we ever do is pick out rubbish, that's all we're ever going to do. We need to know what it is, where it's coming from, so we can actually stop it in the first place. So I was so stoked that they came on as one of our main partners. Um, we had to get quite a lot of sponsorship to make this event happen, um, but Ian and Annika donated their time, all their resources and their team to come up to the island for five days um, and help us set up the logistics. So that was taking bags to certain areas where people could collect them from, picking up those bulk bags, um, taking all the waste off the island that was recyclable. So it was a really key partnership to make sure that this event uh, was not only good fun, we collected a lot of rubbish, but we also wanted to make sure as much as possible was being repurposed and that we were able to educate the 100 people that we had come to volunteer their time about why this is so important and there's no one better to do it than two people that do this for a living. It doesn't matter where we go, whether it's Fraser Island, whether it's you know any part in the world or even in our own little circle at home, our household, to just minimize the plastic as much as we can, I think is really important. This community beach cleanup has given me a lot of hope because it means that there are other people out there who are really dedicated to, to this cause. And it's not something I think we can be blasé about anymore. I think we have to be louder and I think we have to do more and as much as we can, as often as we can, even in our own small way. If this weekend's taught me anything, it's that. You've just got to do your little bit as an individual because together, collectively, that makes a difference.